everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armour with the Stock Swoosh and I'm reviewing Amazon. So this was an Amazon option. So I'm doing the chart review. I'm going to talk about the trade that I called in this. If you have more questions, you can email me at melissa at the stockswoosh.com and you can call me at 929-3200 GAP. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So summer is here, full on, which is very interesting because today it was 60 some degrees in New York and freezing, but it has been nice for the most part. And summer definitely is here, it's June. And it's hard to believe that it's almost halfway through 2019. Before you know it, I'm telling you, it's gonna be Halloween, then it's gonna be the holidays, and I know a lot of people think we'll take off in the summer, but actually, it's a very good time to trade the market when the market has volatility. And we are in a volatile market right now. So how do you make money in the stock market? You look for quality, quality, quality trades. Very, very specific, okay? You have to have a high win ratio system, which I do, and I'm looking for stocks that will move, okay? I'm looking for momentum. And then you take it and you do it and you chunk it out. Now this was, again, this was, gosh, just last week. The stock rallied, then it fell. This was May, okay? Then we got into the month of June, gapped down, gapped down, and here is the big sell-off that occurred, okay? And this was a really, really nice sell-off, and it happened in a gap down. So the stock closed here, gapped down, dropped. So I called actually on Friday, May 31st, the puts in Amazon. So that was the Friday and then it was the Monday that it had the follow through and a big sell off. So I called the 1767.50 puts expiring 67. Again, you options have a time associated with them, but it doesn't mean you hold it for the entire thing. If you're up money in it and you're profitable in it, you and you have the momentum and got the momentum which this is very obvious very obvious that you did here then you get out okay so again you can see where this open here you can see it over here i know this is small but around 1760 here and then you can see it was the 1767.50 so it actually opened here underneath the strike and then fell past it and into it and this was a really really big move okay and this stock can move. I mean, look at these bars over here. These are big, these are big, these are big. Um, so the stock can get a lot of momentum under it and it can happen very quickly. And I like to look at it in the gap. So, but this, this was one I had called before that move occurred. And that is what you would learn from me, how to determine and predict the directional bias that a stock's gonna go before the momentum comes in. Because <clears throat> obviously, after it's happened, it's too late. This was a nice captured move. Now, Amazon, <laughs> is, I mean, as you know, very expensive if you do it as an equity trade. So it makes a lot more sense to do it as an option, even though these can be costly too. So I called <clears throat> the one out, and again, this was basically a week from the time period I called it. Cost was 2060, which is really not that bad, considering how close it was to the strike, or not that far away from it, for the cost of the time in Amazon, this is actually pretty good. Three contracts would have cost you 6,180 bucks. Sale price was 88, that's $88. And that's how these things go. And I think this one, I have to go back and look and see if it went up to 100. It might have gone to 98 or 97. I don't know, this went to some sick number even after this. This was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful move. And it happened just boom, all in that one momentous day. Anyways, profit was $20,220 if you did only three contracts. Three contracts, which is 300 shares, essentially, if this is an option. Beautiful move. Beautiful call. Um, but actually, again, going back, you can see the size of the bar. So no surprise. Um, and if you did a beginner risk, one contract, same price, 2060 sale price, 88 profit, $6,740 with an investment of only two grand. So you see that's a really nice move and it's a really good return on investment. And that is what you're trying to do. Every trade you're looking to really only turn it around once. And if you can turn a trade around two times, three times, some are even four times. I've had some monster calls this year. BYND, Disney, a lot of stocks, so you never know, even though your goal is only one. But in the case of Amazon, that drop was so, 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 so big um, that it was just no bad exit on that whatsoever. 
Anyways, I teach my method in a class. It's called the Golden Gap. It's called the Golden Gap course. You learn in the class how to rate the gap. The rating system is a 26 point rating system and that's how you will learn what to do each day, okay? What stock to do an option in, a swing trade in, an equity trade in, okay? So it's all about doing gaps and then making money trading momentum. Momentum, momentum, momentum is very important, okay? Because that's how you're gonna get paid. You don't wanna risk five cents to make five cents in some piddly little penny stock or cheap stock that's worth a dollar. People do that all the time and then they take these ridiculous size of things. They take 25,000 shares in these cheap stocks and think that's gonna make them rich. No, trade real stocks, trade stocks that move, that move a dollar, $2, $3, $4, $5, stocks that move, that you don't have to take an obscene risk in. Just take a normal risk that you can afford. Even something like Amazon, really, when you look at the contracts, again, one contract paid, which was essentially only 100 shares, all right? You don't need to be taking this insane size or risk to make money in the market. It is about ultimately about the consistency, okay? Consistency, consistency, and just hitting it all the time in the right direction. And how do I do that? I read the gap. So if you've been thinking of looking into something different for as far as a career, as far as extra money on the side, whatever you wanna do. <clears throat> when you work for yourself and you have the freedom to make your own choices by trading in the market, it really is a breath of fresh air. If you don't like what you do and you don't like a company you work for and you'd rather work for yourself, I say keep your full-time job or part-time job and start to learn how to trade the market and you can transition over time and then you can be more independent and work for yourself. You have to learn how to do it first. That's It's key, okay, and for me, it is really about learning the gap rating system, teaching people how to do it so they can implement it, understanding it, and people sign up for the options letter, they get the calls, but it is a process for people. Um, learning is a process, it's a lifelong process. You get better as you go, and then you practice it, and you do it over time. And, it, and, and I tell you, I mean, this year has been very interesting because I've taught some brand new beginners, people that never looked at a chart in their life, and they're doing it. And they're doing it and they're doing it successfully, okay? So learning can be fun and it can be exciting and it can be something new. And you're never too old to learn, okay? So I teach a class once a month. As I said, it's called the Golden Gap Course. It's a two-day class. The next class is June 22nd and 23rd, 9 to 5 Eastern Time. Cost of the class is $59.99 US dollars. Class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. Email me at melissathestockswoosh.com if you want to register. And if you want to sign up, you will learn how I make trade calls like Amazon, again, whether they're options or day trades. If you wanna sign up just to get those trades like to put in Amazon, I just have an annual subscription for this newsletter. There's no monthly subscription. It's an annual subscription. It's $49.99 a year. The trades are emailed to you. You can email me at melissathestockswoosh.com if you wanna come up, uh, sign up. You would have gotten that trade in Amazon. And again, you take the trade and you risk what you can afford. You watch for the momentum to move in. Your goal is one to one each trade, but you will have trades just, just fall off a planet like that Amazon. Um, and there's been a lot of good ones actually this year. I've been calling a lot of trades in this letter, way more in 2019 than 2018, but a lot of it has to do with the quality of the gaps and also the way that I've been reading the market, which has been accurate. So it'd be interesting to see here where we go into the end of June and into July. I'm thinking July is going to be a very, very, very volatile period. Anyways, good luck anyone, everyone. If you're interested in more information, again, if you want to sign up for the newsletter or the class, you must email me for the sign-up forums at melissa at Hope everybody has a great day.